Hey, this is Morgan Giddings, and um, uh, you can find me on Twitter at MetaMorgan. And I'm, I want to talk today about boring talk titles, boring scientific talk titles. I am not a boring person. I don't like boring things. You know, for a long time in my life, I thought, I have to fit in. You know, I always thought, you know, I have to, I have to be the same to fit in. And what I finally discovered is that, that, that that's no fun. It's boring. It's, it's, it's you know, same is lame, I, I heard from, from somebody recently. And um, so what I realized is that by trying to be the same as everybody, I was just formulating these talk titles that, that said nothing really, nothing of interest. And now I look around and see so many talk titles that are like, oh man, it just drives me crazy because they really, they hold no captiv captivation or no interest. Um, here's an example, one that I made up. I didn't want to offend anyone in particular and pick out somebody's talk title and um, you know say so-and-so, you know, came up with this title and it's awful. Um, you know, so I just made up one that, that sort of typifies the kind of talk title I'm talking about. So here's one that you might see. The RKBF pathway leads to stenosis and afibrillation. Okay, so I see kind of things, you know, so those are just made up words. It means nothing, what I just said. But you know, most of the talk titles I see mean nothing to me because you know, they're using all these specialist buzzwords like that that just don't tell you anything and they tell you nothing. And and so it, it drives me crazy. Why not have a talk title that's interesting, that brings people in and says, makes people say, huh, I want to find out a little bit about that. I, I, I'm interested in that. And, and, you know, maybe somebody will actually come to your talk then instead of just saying, you know, this is boring and has nothing to do with me and so I'm going to avoid it at all costs. You know, so I'll throw out there one that I used recently, which is um, modeling biology with equations is like strapping a V8 engine to a horse-drawn buggy. Now, somebody wrote in on my blog and said, hey, I think people might take offense at that. Well, some people might take offense at that. You know, I think for, for certain people who have a certain um, rigid thinking about the way that modeling should be done, then they're going to be offended by that. But, you know, hey, I don't care. At least it's interesting. At least, at least you know, brings people in and gets them excited and gets them thinking and challenges the, the predominant, you know, group think that's been going on in modeling. So, so whatever. I mean, I, to me it was more interesting. And actually, I just gave the talk um, two days ago and it was pretty well attended and I got some great feedback. So I, I, don't, I don't think that there's any problem at all with using an interesting talk title. Um, you're much more likely to get an audience, audience response. So, you know, if you have something to say about it, you know, about your talk titles or, or some ideas um, for great talk titles, uh, please write in on the blog. I want to hear from you. That's at morganonscience.com. I'll see you tomorrow.